Yeah. What is good, y'all? You get what I'm saying? I'm welcome back to it again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. And I'm back at it again with another banger video. Yeah. What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, keep us. Now y'all can probably tell by my voice and my energy, I'm sick. <laughs> um, I literally woke up like this yesterday, feeling terrible. I don't know what the hell's going on with like my sinuses. It's all jacked up. Like I woke up feeling like I had to throw up. Like I can't really like when every every time I breathe, my nose is like feels like it's burning and then like the roof of my mouth feels like it's burning as well i don't know what the heck is going on maybe we need to change the ac filter at the crib or something i don't know um but i'm not about to let that stop us from getting this banger fire content out to you guys you know what i'm saying so as you guys saw in the intro we do have a package from the guys over at p3 y'all already know if you've been in the loop with all the vlogs and been staying in tune with all the videos y'all already know vader's been having a significant amount of issues um electrical wise ever since i went ahead and had the flamethrower kit installed on the car um i'm gonna go ahead show you guys what the car is sitting like right now and then uh we'll get straight into the install so as y'all can see i have no ac vent at all whatsoever um solely because i literally just took everything out the car and sent it off to p3 so that my guy jake can take a look at it and make sure that everything was good now upon arrival um my guy jake was able to hook it up to their demo car up at the shop um and do a factory relearn on the gauge so the gauge should be good to go now um i've been pumping mad 91 in this car ever since i sent the gauge off just because you know not able to see the ethanol content so i'm super stoked to get this back on the car because i want to go ahead and fill up on some e85 i haven't done that in a minute also um i want to go to the track this coming friday so we will be sticking the drag pack back on the back of vader um i really only got like two three passes out of those mickeys that i just bought for the setup day over there um so that being said i'm definitely stoked to see what we can do i'm also send over some logs to the boys over at nrg just to make sure that vader is running properly while i'm making those passes and we'll see what they say whenever they get a chance to look at them but enough of all that rambling let's go ahead and get straight into the install it's literally nothing really to unbox nothing new it's everything that i've already had it's the ac vent the p3 gauge and then the wiring harness so that being said i'm gonna go ahead and plug everything into the car and we'll fire the car up for the first time big coast start for you guys um and cut it on and go through the gauges and just make sure that everything's functioning properly you guys already know Whenever I would plug in the gates, my car would throw a check engine light, all my gauges would turn off, and the car would start idling funny, it would run funny, so hopefully we don't have that issue happening when we plug everything back in. Let's get it. Alright you guys, so update, I've got everything ran right now, literally just gotta tuck this in there. Um, well, everything's ran, everything's connected. I did notice when I plugged it in, as you guys see, we got the little lights flashing right now. So. I'm gonna go ahead and cut on the car and hopefully we have no issues before I go ahead and button everything up I just want to make sure that it works and then once we know that it works and everything's cool Then we'll go ahead and close everything back up together. So that being said Let me crack the garage and fire this thing up
be the same exact issue, bro. <laughs> oh, this shit fried my car, bro. Damn, man. Literally, the car wouldn't even turn on, bro. Unplug the shit and everything goes. Oh, bro, this is a headache, bro. Damn, bro. <sighs> all right, y'all. So there y'all have it. Y'all saw. This is exactly why I didn't want to plug everything in and put everything back together because I had a feeling that it wasn't gonna work. Literally, with the gauge plugged in, the car doesn't even want to turn on. Like, <sighs> boy, I tell you, bro. Watch this. Okay, the gauge is plugged in. Check me out. Foot is on the brake. Nothing. Nothing, bro. Nothing. The car doesn't even want to turn on. Like, <sighs> talking about shift to park. Like, something's something's fried on Vader, bro. At the end of the day, that's just what it is. Oh, man. I don't even know. <sighs> well, y'all. That's just going to wrap it up for today's vlog. Like, I don't even... Not a car. <laughs> the car is going into accessory mode by itself. This was talking about some power steering needs to be serviced. Drive with care. Suspension needs to be serviced. We're Axel. It's saying I don't got gas. When I got gas, the car won't even turn on, bro. Like, literally. It won't even turn on, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Something told me not to install that damn kit on my car, bro. Literally, something told me, bro, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Like, it's not worth. It's not worth. And I was like, bro, like, content. Gotta make the content. Like, this shit is, this shit fucked my car up, bro. Even when I'm driving, like, when I'm shifting, some of the shifts, like, it sounds as if it's slipping or if it's lagging. Like, bro, I'm not even touching the car right now, bro. And it's just turning itself on, literally. I'm, I'm not even touching the car. <sighs> now I got to check engine light. And I'm going to have to clear it. <sighs> oh, man. This shit is it, bro. So, yeah, man, long story short, bro. Like, I ain't even... I'm not the type to bash anybody or anything like that or companies or look for negativity to make content. Y'all know I'm not that kind of YouTuber, bro. I could care less about negativity, drama, and the BS, bro. I just want my stuff to work. So, like, I'm going to just keep it a buck, bro. Do not install the Hot Licks kit on your car at all. Like, don't do it. Because at the end of the day, I did, and this is where I'm at. All of this is because I installed the Hot Licks kit on my car. When I installed that stupid-ass kit on my car, it fried basically my ECU and my TCM. So now, whenever I plug in my gates, the car doesn't even want to turn on. It doesn't start until you unplug the gates. Then when you unplug it, you turn the car on and it has a check engine light. You plug the gauge in and then everything goes to shit. So that being said, y'all, do not install that damn kit on your car. Like, don't do it, bro. Just don't do it. That's all I got to say. Uh, I already feel like crap. So I'm not even about to try to deal with this shit right now. That's going to wrap it up for today's video, bro. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. If you want to unsubscribe, unsubscribe. At this point, I don't even care, bro. Like the video if you want to. Drop a comment. It is what it is, bro. I'm going to roll that outro, and I'll see you all in the next vlog.